What's going on everybody? Brian here from Brian's Broadcast. I hope all of you are doing fantastic. Today I'm going to review another wonderful Atar from the house of Mason Anthony Marmin. The name of the Atar is Ambre du Monarch. And this particular Atar is a beautiful creation. Amber lovers, this is probably going to be a heavenly treat for you guys. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button if you like contents like these. Let's proceed with the notes first. So as per the website, on the top you've got butterfly lily and honey. On the mids you've got leather, light citruses and a hint of caramel. On the base you've got warm ambergris and oud cambodi. This fragrance, this attar, Ombre du Monarque, the inspiration came from like the smell, the rich and the beautiful smell or attars or fragrances that the kings and the monarchs used. Now, of course, this is a French inspired um, attar. It has a wonderful touch. Trust me on this one. This fragrance, this attar, I was really skeptical because whenever there's the presence of honey, I personally am a bit scared because honey is something that's very, it's, it's, pretty challenging when it comes to attars or fragrances and sometimes honey can become very animalic it might smell like piss at some point and it just does not work with a lot of people's skin a lot of skin types just don't you know they just don't go hand in hand with honey this particular one again do let me know if you have used Ambre du Monarch let me know in the comments have you used it what's your experience though at least on my skin, the honey was not super sweet. It was not super sharp. It was a very smooth and very alluring kind of experience. The floral note from the butterfly lily was something that's, that's almost like intoxicating. It's that peaceful feeling that you get. The notes on the top, on the opening part, it's very intoxicating. It's very welcoming. It has this warmth to it and drying down the leather, it kind of adds to a dimension. The leather is not super pronounced, but there's the presence of like a warm, like a texture to this attar. The presence of light citruses and the hint of caramel just adds to more depth. The caramel kind of adds to a bit of sweetness to this attar. And the citruses, it almost feels as if like there's a bite to it like it's not super pronounced citruses but you do feel like there's some kind of a fruity aspect to it a tiny 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 tad bit of sourness or tartiness but besides that it's a beautiful beautiful feeling and the and on the base you've got this warm ambergris now you may be asking hey brian amber and ambergris they're not the same thing of course they're not the same thing but what i'm saying is the effect now the amber effect is very well pronounced in this fragrance the ambergris just adds to more depth it's a very beautiful almost like a um how do i explain this like you get this wonderful feeling where it's not super dry it's kind of has it kind of has that spicy aspect it has this ambery dry spicy amber kind of dry down and with the oud cambodi if you know oud cambodi is that is the type of oud where you get that like almost like a chocolatey kind of vibe with that dry woodiness so it's not skanky it's not going to be an animalic or fickle kind of smell it's a very smooth very nice and very well balanced attar this one once again it's a beautiful amber fragrance attar dries down very nicely and it's pretty potent it's a room filler it just lives around you it just surrounds you with this beautiful aura and believe me this one has this really 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 nice royal touch it just exudes it just pronounces itself as if you know like when a king or a monarch walks into the hallway have all eyes on that monarch right like all eyes on tupac and um kind of like that so this one grabs attention it's very nice it's mass appealing and i must say this is something that's probably i would say it's a very nice safe it's 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 safe to say that it's blind by worthy this is something that you could really wear unless you're like super sensitive to dense rich 
um, notes. But besides that, anybody can pull this off. This is very nice. It's, it's got that dense and rich flavors. It just lasts a long time, almost like 10 to 12 hours easy. And again, little goes a long way. Apply on your pulse points and in the air, it smells phenomenal. That was my honest take on Ombre du Monarch. And again, guys, this is not a sponsored content. So your subscription to my channel matters a lot. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done, done so yet. Hit the thumbs up button if you like contents like these. Do leave me a comment if you have tried Ombre du Monarch or any other attar from Mason Anthony Marmin. What's your favorite? Or if you have used this one, what's your experience with this one? Let me know, guys. And until the next one, please take care, stay safe, and all the best.